Oh, thank the gods I found you boys. And what will you do with us now? Why, grant you safe passage, just as I said. Pretty generous offer for an Imperial. Calm now. Is it fair to begrudge a man the circumstances of his birth? Well, no. I guess not. So, what do we do after he drops us off? Go get the car. Can't leave her unattended for long. Chancellor, if you truly wish to aid us in our efforts, then I request you release us this instant. This instant? It's a long way down. Perhaps the army could break your fall. Or perhaps you could simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You needn't worry. You're in good hands with me. You ever seen a more shit-eating grin? <laughs> Here's hoping you find that car of yours. Several days later. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. Hey, you're not supposed to eat shit. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean, who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Doggo! Hello, puppy. How are you? Someone's sending us a message. What do we do? Follow it. Follow the good doggy. Do not kick the dog. No. Kick the baby. <laughs> You, Giri. By the storm sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The oracle goes hence in her king's name. Luna, where is she now? The eye of the storm. <sighs> when the covenant is forged, the oracle and ring shall await their king at the walls of water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger, a spirit, faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Just not gonna respond to that. I received the blessing. Thank you. Yours truly. Bill Knocked. That's my rapper name. Now that I lost my kingdom and my royalty, I'm trying to become a SoundCloud rapper. 
Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the Oracle's calling. Then, I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Look at the three rune tones of Ramu. In and around the sky. Lady Luna Freya yeah, another primal. Well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kayim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. <sighs> Things stocked up on a uh, Pokobo days because we don't have a car anymore. Okay, so the summon enemy is well blurred out in the safe zone here. No. Oh. Let's go. Prompto <laughs> was great. Is my favorite too. Scares. Oh, I got stuck in a bush. The bush. I just forget I can't just go through those. What do you mean, Magitech engine? How do the Imperials even spot us in here? First Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are. <clears throat> hmm. We'll meet again. Let's see. Loaded up on magic. Easy now. Okay.
item. Thanks Could for the an upgrade ride. item. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. <sighs> Just realize we don't have the regalia. We can't fast travel. <laughs> it. as earlier. Ah, the young prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna F for... Luna, it is heartening to see the future king and the oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the storm sender awaits the king. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. What is it? Very careful I don't accidentally summon enemies. I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archean. The Oracle's call awakens the gods. That their blessings bind the king. You alright? What did she say? Ah, uh, that Luna's awakening the six. Um, how we have like you know, the intense thunder and lightning, we're gonna go find a fucking god. But I just got the chocobo music going. Ladies helping you out anyway. Gentiana? Yeah. Is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. It's okay, guys. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. But it has struck that place about 58 times in a row. But never twice. Gentiana, you know, human? Not quite. Well, not exactly gods. Messengers are divine entities. Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine. Uh, Thunder is different from lightning, so I can double cast it on the same target. Because Thunder is just a noise. But it's slightly disorient them since sound. Long fence. Look, more Imperials. Ooh, cold. Yeah. The covenant is forged, but the revelation awaits. Make Very glad I got the storm sender and let upgrade. judgment be passed. Knocked. You okay? Yeah. Another reminder to receive the blood. Um, well, that's a neat glitch. 
think because I was talking off the choke boat as I arrived here, it just had me in free fall in the cutscene. O King, journey to Fosha, the Eastern Hollow. The seal has been lifted. Deep within the heart of rock lies the runestone, the portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. <sighs> the last one's in the cave. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Finally, time to meet with the storm sender. You'd better look your best. What if it was like Final Fantasy XIV and I got seduced by Let's that go. beard? This oh. Quick. Oh no. Back to that blessing of light, so we can't be mind controlled. Uh, this means that Remu is incredibly seductive with his big swaying beard. For the fact that seduction works on our characters. Yeah, there is no mind control going on there. We're just like, fuck yeah, I want to get some of that. Then we die. Chocobo, can you swim? So, Iris's story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archeum as soon as she fled the Crown City. Hm. You really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. And swim. And weirdly fast. That's great. Hi, Lake Monster. Thanks. Come we would have stopped for the up. item, but didn't want to have to fight Imperials. We got a phone on silent. Look. Not going the wrong way. I'm just trying to. My cat is attacking my door. Amazing. The power of the gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see lore come to life before my very eyes. Leaving insomnia was eye-opening, but this is mind-blowing. After Rama, we go see Leviathan, right? Indeed. I dare say Lady Lunafreya seeks the Hydrian as we speak. Which means another right, and a heavier burden. Hope she can hold up. Yeah, I need a brief moment because my cat is harassing me. It's the destination. Oh, We're still gonna visit the other royal tombs, right? 
Of course. We've simply gone off-road for a spell. Knight but... could definitely use a hand from his ancestors. The dead can wait, but gods aren't always forgiving. Let us not keep the full jewel. <laughs> that one was pretty close. Which Talk means about... we must be as well. Look, over there. I bet that's the spot lightning struck. And we're supposed to go inside? God, we got a dungeon. Let's go, team. Oh, Hollow. No telling what waits inside. Stay sharp. Always.